How are we doing? Do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Uh, there we go. There we go. We're going to have to uh, <laughs> fix this name here real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, he is not Burrow G. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to take this out. But I, I was telling the people that, uh, you know, I know you as a hip hop gentleman. Right. You know, D right, right, right. a wrath. Right. You know? And I'm not going to say your government name. Only I can know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, tell them uh, what's your new name and, you know, why the change? Uh, let, let's let's wrap a little bit. We got about four minutes. All right. So basically, uh, so basically what was going on was that I, uh, you know, I haven't had. Oh, hold on. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get this. But uh, technical dig. That's okay. That's okay. We're live, and you know, and we're everyone is trying something new, so it it happens. But uh, he's trying to get his phone reconnected. He just dropped it, so uh, he froze. <laughs> Our way back. There we go. Now this is better. Uh, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Your your camera froze. So maybe turn your camera off and back on. I don't know. There we go. All okay. right. All right. <laughs> but uh, okay. So uh, explain a little bit about the change of name and you know a little bit. Right. So basically, what happened was I, uh, you know, I kind of went on a little hiatus. I mean, I was still performing and doing things like that. Um, problem. What happened was though, it was it was. I didn't think it was able to be like marketable to the uh, to different communities. I mean, I, every time I was doing like a Spanish show or something like that, um, I, I would be introduced at, instead of wrath. I was being introduced as rat, like a mouse. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, they forgot the whole WR. Huh? They like Whoa. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I was like, you know what? This is um, you know, it's been a little. It's been something where I've been thinking about. I've been wanting to change the name and play with it. Um, I'm still going to be the same me, but, you know, just kind of change it up a little bit. And, okay. um, you know, I mean, wrath is always going to be a part of me. It's always who I am. It's where I started. But, you know, to be uh, to be to have any opportunity of being something uh, a little bit more real to me. That's what I wanted to go with. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. But uh, for you, you, ladies and gentlemen, it's like half of the independent artists that are here became like family you know what i'm saying so when we right. say the ldm is family we really mean it like you know raf and we we uh bump into each other it's like like we seen each other yesterday basically you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh yeah. good guy but i just want to say and we always talking oh yeah especially online we always, <laughs> yeah we're always talking especially when wrestling stuff comes oh up, yeah yeah you yeah. know yeah, don't get don't get me started man it's like oh <laughs> what's going on with this wrestling stuff but um yeah 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 it's you know it's good but again congratulations on the home on the families and everything thank that's you man going on with your life everything positive just continue doing uh, your positive stuff man uh, we need more people like yourself and all the independent mm -hmm. artists that are right. on today uh, doing that positive stuff, you know. But today you're going to be singing uh, a couple of songs. Uh, right. So you're going to be singing your new song as well? Yeah. So I'm going to be previewing the new one. Uh, so basically this song is about, um, you know, it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be the second song I'm going to perform today. But uh, it's basically about... Um, you know, my life growing up as a kid in the 90s. I mean, I was born in 91, you know, and, you know, when you think back to your childhood, you have those vivid memories of just everything that, you know, was was real for you at that time. Oh, yes. And they have, you know, I have so many just great memories of whether it was TV, music, you know, I've just been going down memory lane and reminiscing that. Wow. And it's something that just... I just love and want to cherish, and that's why I kind of wanted to release this song. Oh, my God. Yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, you know, without further ado, we're going to let uh, Raph take over the uh, the airwaves here and just let him do what he has to do. And uh, I'll be back after he finishes uh, his stuff. All right? Well, take it away, Raph. It's all you. All right. Let's go. So what's going on, everybody? Really quick, let me properly reintroduce myself. A lot of people used to know me as Wrath, but... 
I'm changing it up a little bit. And now I go by the name of Felice. It doesn't stand for anything because it's who I am. So this one's called Hip Hop's Gentleman. Um, it's a little homage to, you know, the song that I was performing back is Wrath, but it's going to go like this. This one's called Hip Hop's Gentleman. Let's go. Hip Hop's Gentleman. I'm a gentleman. Hip Hop's Gentleman. I'm a gentleman. All right. So I'm trying to get the light a little bit here. But it goes like this. Check it. Yo. You know we need this. I hate the way we're represented. I need to make changes because I'm sick of all the misconception. And not to mention the way people perceive us. They see the way that rappers are and think that we deceive them. I'm here to open doors, pull out your chairs so you could learn. I'm tired that the word rapper is a curse word. Open your mind, open your eyes, and listen closely. I'm known to change the mind of people that just listen to me. No one controls me. I made my own decision. I went from person in every bar to making the transition. Uh, I'm screaming it loudly. The change is coming if you allow me. I'm the gentleman of hip hop. You know that I say it proudly. It's something that I lack, but I can't deny the fact that I have class. Cause I'm. Say it. I'm a gentleman, hip hop's gentleman. I'm a gentleman, I'm fussing all the time about the way I rhyme and how nobody ever has a style like mine. Cause I'm, say it, I'm a gentleman, hip hop's gentleman. I'm it wasn't easy, but what I was doing wasn't working out. Always wondered why my fan base just wasn't growing, and then it hit me. Why in the world would I be fake? Despite that real and true hip hop, you know you could always make. I'm feeling great. I'm leading the entire nation. There's never limitations, obligations, making aspirations. Ladies and gentlemen, the respect has probably been misplaced. When you wear your pants, make sure they're sitting on your waist. It's all about your upkeep. Ain't always keeping your standards high. The they just don't know how to utilize It won't hurt you to try something new Never underestimate yourself or anything you can do G-E-N-T-L-E-M-A-N Don't define the word, homie Just show them what your actions Excuse me for a second Let me introduce an element Doesn't matter that you're hip-hop You can be a gentleman Swag is something that I lacked But I can't deny the fact that I have class, cause I'm, say it, I'm a gentleman, hip hop's gentleman, I'm a gentleman, I'm questioned all the time, about the way I rhyme, and how nobody ever has a style like mine, cause I'm, say it, I'm a gentleman, hip hop's gentleman, I'm hip hop's gentleman, nobody ever believed me, they thought that I would just fail, they didn't think that I would make it, he didn't believe that I would prevail, but now I'm on the top of the world, and I proved that all those haters were bugging, because I showed the world that I never had swag, it's something that I lacked. But I can't deny the fact that I have class Cause I'm, say it, I'm a gentleman, hip hop's gentleman, I'm a gentleman no man, I'm questioned all the time about the way I rhyme and how nobody ever has a style like mine. Cause I'm say it, I'm a gentleman, hip hop's gentleman. Come on, everybody. No, I never had swag, it's something that I lacked, but I can't deny the fact that I have class. Cause I'm say it. I'm a gentleman, hip hop's gentleman. I'm a gentleman, I'm questioned all the time about the way I rhyme and how nobody ever has a style like mine. Cause I'm, say it, I'm a gentleman, hip hop's gentleman. I'm hip hop's gentleman. I mean, it's the truth. All right. So that one was called Hip Hop's Gentleman. That one is uh, obviously the track that I used to perform back as Rav, but check it out. So this next one, like I said, I'm bringing it in because I'm, I'm doing a little preview for you guys. Um, the official release for this one is going to be on May 31st. The music video is going to come out on May 31st um, on my YouTube channel. It's going to be www.youtube.com. Slash Rath, uh CPA. Uh, yeah, I'm still going with that YouTube channel. But um, it's uh, it's going to be called Growing Up as a 90s Kid. And I'm kind of going to bring you back, you know, show you the visuals of what growing up in the 90s was like for me. So this song, 
I'm performing it for the first time here on the LDM show. And uh, it's called Growing Up as a 90s Kid. Let's go. Check it. The year I came into this world, it was 1991. The golden years of life, not for every, but for some. Naive to my blessing with so much to learn. It was arguably the perfect time to be born. My life wasn't perfect, but I loved the bigger picture. Had to share a living room with my brother and my sister. The bond that we shared is a bond that I miss when my brother and my sister used to love me with a kiss. Yo, everything was easy. Wasn't worried about the hassles. Was worried about saving Peach from Bowser's castle. Learning the combination to win with us. Fatality, you when my game boy was dying, asking mom for batteries. Nick Jr. had face, Happy Meals had plush. The Pink Ranger was every kid's first crush. God only knows all the memories I miss growing up as a 90s kid. God only knows all the memories that I miss growing up as a 90s kid. Growing up as a 90s kid. This is all about everything that I ever did. Growing up as a 90s kid. Growing up as a... Yo. Now what? Uh, Robin changed his hair. Michael Jordan was the greatest. Scotty Pippen's nose was flat. Tupac wanted changes. Everything that was fat meant everything that was cool. Cassettes were still around and CDs were kind of new. Huh. Apples were bought in a fruit stand. A quarter bought you with juice and another bought you chips man pepsi cola was the color of the sky you hope that no one called when you signed online steve was stone cold dx had to suck it was told wrestling was fake and i argued that it wasn't and friends called each other on the phone and friends were together when they weren't at home and friends lasted longer with no social media stop eating everything the media is feeding you i wish that i could relive everything i did when up as a 90s kid, God only knows all the memories that I miss. Growing up as a 90s kid, growing up as a 90s kid. This is all about everything that I ever did. Growing up as a 90s kid, growing up as a 90s kid. Hey, really miss the most is when the teacher got smart And mom stormed the school to tear the teacher apart She made sure that no one ever messes with her baby She would say, who the f do you think you are, lady? I really miss when mom would pick me up from class All these memories got me missing all my past PlayStation was Nintendo and Sega was Nintendo Atari was Nintendo and Nintendo was Nintendo Discovering that I could write a couple rhymes And feel a little better when there's bad on my mind Yo, hip-hop was at its all-time peak And I felt like I needed to be a part of history Everyone freaked out about Y2K I had no idea what that meant anyway Live with no regrets, always think of life highly This is what I remember as a kid in the 90s God only knows all the memories that I miss Growing up as a 90s kid Growing up as a 90s kid This is all about everything that I ever did Growing up as a 90s kid Growing up as a 90s kid Yeah, man That's what it was like for me growing up in the 90s We had Pepsi Blue 3D Doritos, man, it was a beautiful time. You know how it is. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, that, yo, that was, I was like, yo, when Nintendo was <laughs> Nintendo, heck yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know, I remember when my mom used to tell me, get off the get off the PlayStation. No, she used to tell me to get off the PlayStation, but she would be like, get off, mira. Turn off the Nintendo. That's uh, it. It's over. The Nintendo's done. Yeah, yeah. Everything. <laughs> I, I, that's why when you said it, I wish I had another camera because I started cracking up <laughs> because my mom used to do the same thing. I'm like, no, mom. This is like I, I had a Genesis at one time. I was like, yeah, not Nintendo. She was like, and no, no, me poita. Just turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> because back in the yeah. days, we only allowed like an hour or two. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. Yep. 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 Cause the light, That's was, how it was, the light was like uh, the cell phone. You only had a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, you know, I mean that one, that was what it was like. You know what I mean? I, I'll never forget it when you couldn't, you know, you could, people would call you when you was, uh, you know, they would call you on the phone when, uh, when you 
signed on to the internet to American Online. Yeah. And you had to sign on, and once somebody called, that's it. It was over. You got locked off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was it's funny. <laughs> and then you couldn't sneak. Like right now, you can just go online. But before it was like, beep, 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 beep. I was like, damn, they they, they know when I'm yeah. getting online. <laughs> yeah, 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 everybody. Who's going knew. online? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that was good. I like I like that you uh did that song. It it brings back a lot of the good memories, you know. Right, right, right. You know, and like I said, I kind of want it. It still sounds like you know. It sounds like what I was doing before. Which, like I said, I, I don't feel like I'm changing myself. I just kind of wanted to change the name, only right, because right. like it's a it's a it's a it's a kind of homage to my last name. I mean, my last name is Feliciano. So a lot of people at work and a lot of people like in the military, I've always had a job that was last name basis. Yep. So, uh, you know, most people call me, they didn't want to say Feliciano because it's too long. So they always shortened it up and it was always Feliz. Right, and I'm right. like, I, it just stuck. It's one of those things that just kind of stuck. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go with that. I like that. Hey, hey, and I it worked. It works for the Spanish. Like if I ever do a Spanish, I want to kind of jump into Spanish music and stuff like that. If I ever, you know, if I ever do a Spanish song with maybe one of the, like, for example, me and me and uh, EC, maybe we want to do a Spanish song one of these days or me oh, and, yeah. you know, uh, well, he, he's you know, probably listening because he's coming on today. Yeah. Uh, right. He'll be on right, today. Right. I forgot what time. Right. Well, I have, you know, I still haven't done a song with Miguel, with Miguel and, and John Q yet. So yep, who they, knows? They'll you know? be on too. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. So if I like, let's say we was to have to do a song together, and I wanted to do a Spanish song instead of it, and we wanted to bring it to a Spanish stage or Spanish audience, you right, know, instead right. of being called rap, it's a lot easier for a Spanish-speaking person to say Feliz. Uh huh. Yeah, and especially on Christmas, <laughs> you will always know Feliz night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Your name is gonna be spread all over the place. <laughs> there you go. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, but uh, again, like I said, uh very happy and very proud of everything that's going Thank on you, with you and your life. Uh, continue doing it. Because uh, a lot of people, we put stuff on Facebook, but you don't know exactly what's going on, you know, right, in their right, lives. Right. So when I say congratulations, because I know basically what's going on in his, in his Right, life. right, yeah. So, uh, you know, we continue doing that. Support independent artists as much as possible. Um, with everything that's going on right now, we need to be together and that's Absolutely. one of the reasons for this concert is for people to watch we we still having people online coming in and coming out it's like right. you know and this is we got another five hours that looks like four or five <laughs> hours of this so you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. so uh you know we continue but I, I got a question i've been asking everybody yeah what have you done now being in lockdown that you have never done before all right um so i have been been messing with the uh, my house i just so i just bought a new house it's not a secret right, i right. just bought a house i bought my first house and um i have been trying to you know be handy and fix <laughs> things up and remodel and thinking i'm the property brothers from hey, hey, hgtv no, you know the garage did look good though listen it's still i'm still working on it, it. it's looking it, good it's looking good <laughs> i went the garage went from nothing to something, something and now i got lights and walls and color in there hey when you put when it's you just click on that first switch you be like yeah I did yeah it. exactly I did it. Yeah. exactly you know so i've been i've been doing that you know i mean it comes it i've been listen i'm putting it like that i put my blood sweat and tears because i literally almost chopped off my finger oh wow tr yeah tr trying to fix the garage so Hey. It's been uh, it's been serious, but yeah, that's what I've been doing, you know, and 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 kind of um, you know putting family first. I mean, it's it's Mother's Day weekend, so uh, you know, of course, I'm gonna yes, go see my yes. mom tonight and stuff like that. You know, I mean, it's tough. It's a lot of people, you know, they're scared to go outside, but you know, I mean, I'm I'm all for for you know doing what you got to do to survive, you know. And I miss my family. I miss my mom. I want to go see her, so I'm gonna yeah. go see my mom. As hey, soon as this is over. Hey, listen, listen. Uh, like I said, I've been back and forth from the studio and, you know, uh, making sure people get the news that are correct, you know, stuff like that. So we have yeah. to do what we have to do to survive. But yeah. uh, I'm glad that I can sit here with you guys and have fun because as you're singing, I'm in the background like, yeah. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know. Uh, and especially with the 90s kids, I, I think that that – that song can go all the way up to the eighties, maybe. I mean, down to the eighties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. because if you were what, if if you were born in nineteen eighty, right? You 
uh, you lived all of that. Uh, you were 10 years old in the 90s, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and, and you lived it all. So you saw it all. And it's, yeah, of course you can, uh, if you, 80s babies can appreciate that just as hey. much as 90s babies. Hey, you know, you know when, when you say you had to blow the cartridge, <laughs> or use alcohol <laughs> with the cartridge you have with the q -tip. yeah you have not lived if you if you don't have you'll be like god you got a lot of q-tips your ears are dirty no i got a couple of video games that you know yeah right sometimes i gotta need them <laughs> <laughs> you know but uh you know thank you for uh being here today and you know taking the thank time you for having me hey uh you know continue to work and let us know anything that we can do as a, a network and as a friend, you know, we're yeah. here for you. You know what I'm saying? So, well, listen, man, honestly, off the record, off the record, I want to, I want to do a wrestling talk show with you. So we, we could talk about that listen, off the air. Listen, we, we, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it because the last uh, wrestling talk that me and Will did, yep. we, we were talking about you and I was like, yeah, yeah. Man, you know, yeah, man, I'm down. I'm hey, down. We can I, do I, it listen. remotely. We can do it at the studio. It did not I'm matter down. because remember, uh, <laughs> What what what's coming up now is is gonna be the money in the uh, bank. Money in the bank. Yep. I don't know. I I, I got questions about that, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, really quick before we get off. All right. Um. So I changed all my social media, uh, except for my YouTube page. My YouTube page is still Rath CPA. Um. But all my social media from my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, it's all Felice the Real. That's F E L E S E the Real because I am the realist. Yes. All right. <laughs> there you go. Re recognize. <laughs> Felice the real. All right. So make sure you follow me on that. Um, and my uh, that that single, growing up as a '90s kid, the music video is coming out on. Uh, it's coming out on May 31st at 8 a.m. in the morning. Oh, so wow. Eastern Standard Time. So it's gonna be on my YouTube channel, and of course, I'm gonna blast it as soon as it comes out. Oh yeah, yeah. And on May 31st, on top of the music video, it's all gonna come out on iTunes, Spotify, you know, you name it, Amazon, your favorite music store and streaming service is going to be on there. So make sure, uh, make sure you, you stream it and you buy it that day. Yes. And, uh, make sure also, because we're going to be, we have to play it on the uh, station. And then when we play it on the station, it goes up for voting. So right. make sure when we throw that flyer out, you start voting, uh, as yeah. much as possible for the fifth LDM music awards, you know, there so, you go. You know, we, 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 doing so many things and uh keep it up you know i want to hear some more of these uh songs that come in oh out, listen you know? listen i'm working on it i've had a lot of time right. during the stay at home stuff so i've been working on some stuff um it's just a matter of getting into the studio that's the hardest part yeah, because is. you know no one wants to no one wants to uh to come out but you know i've been working like i'm just in the works me and ec are working on something mm -hmm. uh behind the scenes right now um, you know, I've got some songs in the works right now, different genres. It's not all hip hop. All right. I will be hip hop's gentleman, but I'm not just all about hip hop anymore. Oh, okay. Well, so, you know, you I'm go, branching out into different. Before you go, you have, uh, Rivera say, get it cuz super proud of you. There you go. Uh, <laughs> we have, uh, Andrew. Oh, A Andrew, uh, Posar, that's my bodyguard release. Felice. <laughs> <laughs> that's my bodyguard. Nah, that's that's my best friend, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you got a couple people that said hello to you online. There you as go. Well, uh, if I can't see everybody because it only shows me like three people, right? But, uh, you know, for the ones that I miss, I'm sorry. But um, you know, thank you very much. You know, we got to keep it going now, and uh, definitely wrestling talk. We're we're gonna talk. Yeah, about there you this. go. You know, I'll give you a call tomorrow <laughs> once all this is done. So, there you go, man. All right. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up. Uh, keep it going. That's how you do a song about the 90s. So, you know, <laughs> keep it going. Well, we, all right, man. All right. Take care, man. Take it easy, man.